Hello guys, welcome back to your Pinterest Test Club. Today we are going to discuss about footprinting and recommences. So, what is footprinting? Footprinting and recommences are the crucial phases in the process of ethical hacking or penetration testing. They involve gathering information about a target system or a network to assess its vulnerabilities and weakness. Here are like some brief view. So, what is footprinting and recommences? Footprinting, this is an initial phase where an attacker collects as much information as possible about the target. This includes identifying the target IP address, domain names, network infrastructures and public information about the organization. Recognizers. So, in the recognizers, like once an initial information is gathered, recognizers involve more in-depth probing. This can be categorized into two types, active recognizers and passive recognizers. So, in the active recognizers involves the actively probing the target such as scanning or open port services and vulnerabilities and passive recommences involves collecting information passively without directly interacting with the target like searching for public information on social media website or domain registration records so you can visit our website and you can learn uh, more tutorials So now we will go for first thing. First part is gather information using advanced Google search engine. So this is a Google advanced technique. So you just open a browser, you just type google.com. So I, I prefer some type of target. I type intuitive login site bmw.com. So you just click on here. I just directly got the BMW login access here. So you just come back, come back here. So now I want to get the same as it is BMW file type PDF. So you can see I got the uh, same as it is uh, like a targeted of the organization of the PDF. So in a similar same as it is, okay, you can use all these comments like in title, catchy, all in URL, in you in URL all in title, in anchor, link, related, info, locations. Okay. So this concludes the demonstration of gathering information using the advanced Google hacking techniques. You can also conduct a series of queries on your own by using these advanced Google operations and gather the relevant information about the target information. So now we go. Second task. Video search engines. So how we can get video search engines? Uh, we will see how to gather information from video search engines. Video search engines are internet based search engines that crawl the website looking for video content. These search engines either provide the functionalities of uploading and hosting the video content on their own web servers or they can parse the video content which is hosted extremely. So we can see this one, how we can get it done. So for this, you need to come. So we just came here. So we just come to youtube.com. So we can take uh, our channel PCPL Alex. So we find here like you just click on open. You just copy this. 
copy this thing then just open another tab and you can type https q.io YouTube metadata so just paste it so then click on submit So now you can scroll down here. You can see the video when was I uploaded? September 28th with the time zone. Channel ID, title, description. This is the hashtags I used, snippets, uh, statistics, geolocation, status, live stream details, current details and topic details and thumbnail so you can click on the reverse search image in here so you will find based on the thumbnail uh, thing as a related information about here so this concludes the demonstration of gathering information from the advanced video search engines reserve image search engine using the video search engine and youtube metadata you can also use here like Close this. You can also use like uh, Yahoo search engines or many other search engines. So now we go for FTP search engines. So what is FTP search engines? Like we we are doing a footprinting and recognizes. We gather the FTP search engines like a file transfer protocol search engine. Search engines are used. The file locations and FTP servers, these files are hold valuable information about the target organizations, maybe industries, hospit hospitals, or many things. So you can come here, you can type FTP, uh, search FTPs. So you just directly you can tell, appeal, and you can search. You find more, many other things, FTPs such engines. So this concludes the demonstration of gathering uh, information about FTP search engines. So we can see who the here. Free fair web FTP file search. So you can use alternatively this also. And come back. So now is another task is for IoT search engines. So what is IoT search engines? So gather information from IoT search engines. IoT search engines are crawl the internet of IoT devices that are publicly accessible. These search engines are providing crucial information including the control system of SCADA like supervisory control and data exploitation. So let's we just move to showdown.io we see. showdown.io so you can search anything like you can search like Bentley then click on search so you can search uh, any type of the IP address here you will find all open ports, what is the running over there and you can find uh, latest vulnerabilities of this type of organization 2023-38408. You can search it in the vulnerabilities. Okay, so now you just come back. So, this concludes the demonstration of gathering uh, vulnerable IoT information using the Shodan search engine. So, you can also use a Senesis search okay so now you go find a company's 
domains and subdomains using the netcraft so how that will be done we will see so now you can come to netcraft.com so you just click on resource research tools click on site report like a visit the site report so you can type https airbnb.com then click on lookup you can find a multiple information here like background network and ip ip geolocations it's in the europe okay ssl or tls you will see certificate transportations ssl hard bleed and ssl certification chain hosting history so now we can see network in the airbnb so you just tap on this airbnb you can see host names uh, subdomains is matching with here we have found here 33 results okay so this is how you can find the results okay so come back so in the domain place in the network under tab in the domain place you need to click on here any type of domain whatever you given that domain so you can find the subdomains so using this uh, finding these subdomains there is a, a special tool i i will use a sublister so this is a special tool okay so this concludes the demonstration of finding the company's domains and subdomains using the netcraft tool the attacker can use collected list of subdomains perform a web application attacks on the target organization such as injection attack brute force attacks and dos attacks and many other things so you just close this so now you can see gather a personal information using pq online search so what is this pq pq is just like an open source uh, uh, information gathering site pq.com so we can type Vladimir Williams you can give type of uh, in this New York then click on search so you just click on anything else you just click on search you just click on CA results you will get entire information about that person like first name and last name if you know you can get entire of the information their family background etc their phone number and they staying what is the property criminal records everything you can get it out here okay so the better options here now uh, for PQ so you can purchase the truth finder people search are being verified as a premium one so that's more better it will give accurate information okay so this concludes the demonstration of gathering personal information using the pq online search service so now we can see gather email list using the harvester so what is the harvester this is a tool for gather email subdomains hosters employees names open ports and banners from the different public sources such as search engines, PGP keys, servers, and Shodan computers database, as well as use a, use a Google, Bing, Shodan, etc., to extract a valuable information from the target domain. This tool is intended to help an ethical hacker and pen testers in the early stages of the security assessment and understand the organization's footprint. On the internet it is also a useful anyone who wants to know the organization's information is a useful for an attacker so for this we use uh, Linux I use a Parrot OS which you was already seen how I was it, uh, set up the uh, CH version to our labs so I type a list I go the harvester directory I type my company uh, 
harvester.python minus d d defines a domain i use microsoft.com minus l defines the length is 200 minus b define the source is by do. so let's see So you can see the email ID is related to the target companies. The target company hosted obtain the Baidu source as shown in the here. Have some type of uh, host assistant. We not yet found any emails. So the attacker can use these email list usernames and uh, perform a social engineering and brute force attacks and using the Hydra tool to crack the passwords. So this concludes the uses the the harvester tool. So, we just go back from here. Uh, so, now is TOR project. So, what is a TOR project? So, so gather the information using deep web and dark web search engines. So, the deep web consists of web pages and contents that are hidden and un unindexed and cannot be located from your traditional website like Google, Yahoo, Bing, or etc. things. So, it can be accessed as such engines such like a Tor browser and www.virtual library, the dark web, or a dark net is a subset of the deep web where anyone can navigate anonymously without being a traced. Deep and dark web search can provide a critical information such as credit card details or etc. etc. things. So, uh, you want to get a uh, tar. So, you need to get like tarproject.org. So, so, you just click on. So, my operating system is uh, Windows. I downloaded it for the Windows. So, I already installed here. So, this is the tar project. So, I just open here. So, I just click on connect so it will take for connection now let's come back uh, you'll see you'll see here like a uh, go to google.com then you can type hidden wiki so you can find only the hidden wiki of uh, these things, but you cannot able to access the main part. Okay, here. So that's the issue. Now you can see here. Now you can type here like a hire hacker. You cannot find a certain type of things in this uh, normal type of website. Okay, so I think so it's connected. Still not. So, I go to DuckDuckGo engine, this is the most popular engine, so now I just go to official site, now I can search hidden wiki, hidden wiki dark web hidden services link. So now I can show you. So you just uh, open a link and you can open any type of the link. And you can see Bitcoin mixer, dark web uh, market, drugs vendors, many other things. Other dark web vendors. So you can see this is a, you can access the URL links, whatever you require, like hacking platforms, etc., etc., things. So this another one, this is onion wallet, 
this and all a scam one don't uh, don't send to any type of uh, money over to them okay so they will take the crypto and they will run away so you can't able to trace back also you can't able to get a crack also that's a most various part so we just close this so so compare to this so i will provide you more like a tales and hidden wiki is the most popular one and you can also use like a exonima tar or like onion land search engines okay many other things so now we go for task 9 perform a footprinting using a no determine a target voice through a passive footprinting so operating system information is a crucial for every ethical hacker ethical hackers can acquire details of operating systems and running the target machine by performing various passive footprinting techniques and obtain other information such as city country latitude longitude post names operating systems and ip address of the target organization so we just come back here we type census.searchio we type like try hackme.com so you just click on any one of the url you find every crucial information from that url okay this concludes the demonstration of gathering OS information through a passive footprinting using the census web service. So, uh, the census web also you can use a showdown or netcraft also. So, now we gonna use. gather the employee information using the linkedin users of the harvester so we use the harvester as a list python 3 harvester NSD Microsoft.com minus L two hundred minus E five. So sorry, because I need to give here in the Bible page as one LinkedIn. So I will give here. LinkedIn so it shows an invalid but you need to specify a targeted information uh, organization okay they are not yet registered their information so this conclude the demonstration of gathering employees information using the LinkedIn So now we go Sherlock. So gather the personal information from the various social networking sites using Sherlock. So what is a Sherlock? Sherlock is a Python based tool that is used to gather information about a target person over a various social networking sites. Sherlock such as a vast number of social networking sites for a given targeted user locate the person displays the results along with the complete url so now we can see this one cd title list we 
dkrf so we not it found a share lock so just open firefox Can type shed lock github so it's take a time so we directly go git clone github.com shed lock project Lock. So now you can type share lock the list you need to install this hit three install minisoft requirements dot txt so it will install the requirements So here this will take too much time so I just yeah but it's been as early as possible so I type python3 share lock hackerman 1337 so let's see so uh, the attacker can further use the gathered URL okay to obtain sensitive information about the target such as a DOS, date of birth, employment status and information about the organization that they are working for including the business strategies or potential clients information, uh, many other things they can gather and they can exploit accordingly to their wish. So this concludes the demonstration of gathering the personal information about various social networking sites using the Sherlock. So the Sherlock uh, thing uh, like a social search engines uh, user recon this also can be workable so now we're gonna do ping command so how we can useful a ping so you just minimize this this also so you just open a command prompt Yes, run an administrator then click on yes so gather information about a target website using a ping command line utility so ping is an a network administration utility used to test the reachability of the host and IP address and measures the wrong tip for the ping command send the ICMP echo request to the target host and wait for the ICMP response during the request and response process Ping measures the time of the transmission to a reception, known as a round trip time, and record any loss of the packets. The ping command assists the obtaining a domain information and IP address. So now we can see this this one ping www dot 
vulnerweb.com now you can see this is an IP address of vulnerableweb.com so we can see send for receive for so now we can use minus f minus f 1500 so here the response packet need to be a fragmented but df set means that the frame is too large to be on the network and needs to be a fragmented packet that was not set to be used minus f so we will use 1300 here you can see the TTL time is 38 38 seconds so now we can use a same as it is 1473 so it's the same as previous step we can see 1472 so it will ping in now so now we discover the happens when a time to live expires every frame on the network TTL depends if a TTL reaches 0 the router discharges the packet and mechanism prevents a loss of packet so now we can see that that one minus i3 so we can see ttl is expired in transistor so now we can see i3 minus n1 so sent one receive two so now you can see here of four sent one receive one zero so you can find until the reason is done okay so find the value trying a different ttl value uh, to reach the vulnerable web.com here the hope of the reach vulnerable web uh, web which might differ when perform the task and successfully finding the ttl value it may imply the reply of receive from the destination of the host IP address. So this concludes the demonstration of gathering information about target uh, website using the ping command line utility such as IP address of the target website, hope, count and target, value of maximum size allowed by the target remix. So now we go for central OPS. So what is the central OPS? So we discuss now gather information about a target website using the central ops. Central ops is a free online networking scanner that investigates a domain IP address, DNS record, trace route, NS lookup, who is such and etc. So we go for this one and we can type central ops.net. So we can type here www.vulnerableweb.com so it will check the entire of the information like you can see domain who is record dns record trace route record uh, server scan so you just click on the thing it will get entire of the information domain who is record network who is record dns records trace route records many other things so this concludes the demonstration of gathering information about a target website using the central ops. So now just come back in here. So uh, now target number is 40, web data extractor. So how we can extract the data? So extract the company data using a web data extractor. So what is a web data extractor? So web data extraction is a process of extracting the data from web pages available on the company website. A company data such as contact details, email, phone, etc., URL, personal data information that can be extracted. So you just open this web data extractor. So I just uh, delete all sessions from the group yes i just delete so you just click on new session so group id you just type one web and you can type 
Computer wieder. Wanderweb.com. So, you just put URLs, domains, metadata, custom data. It is not required. You just click. So, okay. So, I don't want custom data. So, I just click on start. It will start extracting the data. So, you can see session is finished. You get the information from here link or domain. So, this will not get any information. So, you need to try with another uh, valuable uh, targeted your domain. So, then you can get the information. So, you can also use like a, uh, you can you just close this. So, I use only the test data here. So, you can also use like a parser spider foot. That's more better. So, now we go for HTTP track so mirror a target website using the HTTP track website so what is HTTP track website so website mirroring is the process of creating a replica or a clone of the original website this mirroring of the website helps you the foot painting of a website thoroughly your local systems allow you to allow you to download a website a local directory to analyze the directories of HTML images, flash, videos, etc. etc. things. You can duplicate any of the website using this uh, tool such as HTTP Rack, Website Copier. HTTP is an offline browser utility that downloads the website from the internet and local directory, builds all the directory re recursively and transfer in HTML and images. So before that, I just go to my C so my websites so I just delete all these things uh, I just delete so I already installed this one so I just launch now so I just click on next I give project name as one web then click on next so you need to give the website address walnaweb.com then click on next then click no 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 uh, I think I have made a mistake so stop I just stop this I will come from beginning okay so I just made a mistake I just come here open this make C folder I just want to just delete yes so now I just come back so you can type one one now web.com then click on next so you need to type www one .com. so you just click on set options and click on scan rules you need to get here like uh, PNGs uh, give are a zip folders whatever inside the database so that also you need to get and click on next and click on finish so once it was done you will see you wait for uh, some time so it was done browse and mirror website you can see here same akinetics website so we can see same as it is here just come here wonderweb.com so you can see here same as it is the website Whatever we have seen, it's in the local website, similar as it is, we have got it here. Okay, so we just close this. So, this concludes the how to clone the mirroring of website using the HTTP track. So, now we go for task is uh, another task is 16. Photon. So gather information about a target website using Photon. So what is a Photon? Photon is a script that is a crawl the given targeted URL to obtain information such as URL in scope, URL with the parameters, email address, social media accounts, files, secret keys and subdomains and extracted the information. Further we export to a JSON format or many other formats. 
So we will see this one. Come back here. So we go to city. Now type a clear, type a list. So let's check on this. I want to go shut down this. So we need to type cd photon type a list. You can type Python 3 Photon dot Python. So now you can see Photon dot Python minus U. So I want to use as https github.com let's see so it will crawl the websites okay So let's see, it's uh, crawling. So it's taking much time. So we will see further. We just come back here. So it's almost all done now. We will leave it out. Let's put there. So now it was done. So we just come here, type a list. So now it's already came here. Put on www. Result in github.com. Saved in result in github.com. So here is how github.com. See, we just only type the github.com. So that's that. Right, github.com. So now you can type a list. You can type cat external.txt. You can find the all open source information about the things, whatever here file. Cat files.txt. 
so you found all the files.txt so now you can type a list so now you can type cat intel.txt cat robots dot txt so you can see all the informations so this information will be saved in the root directory of your your root directory when you have done the penetration testing so you just in the same of photon directory so you just go to a photon directory then you can see here github.com with a domain so all the results is saved here all the results is here so you just close here open the terminal you just type cd and you just type here so you can further explore the photon tool and perform a various functionality such as cloning and target the website extracting the secret keys and cookies obtaining its strings by specifying the rejix patterns using the information, the attacker can perform various attacks on the target website such as bullet force attacks, Daniel of service attacks, injection attacks and phishing attacks and social engineering attacks in other things. So now we can see some other thing, uh, number 17, Zircon. So gather the information about target website using a Zircon. So what is a Zircon? Zircon is a Python tool that can be used to run a Google search queries to perform a reconnaissance on a target to find a subdomains, login pages, directory listing, exposed documents and WordPress entries. So we type cd zircon, type a list, we can type python zircon dot python sorry I need to use here python 3 so it will ask a target site you need to put target site is www.wellnaweb.com so it will give accordingly to the subdomains, sub subdomains, sign up and login and uh, sign up pages, directory listing, exposed documents, WordPress entries, and pasting the sites. So I no need to use uh, like this. So let me show you one more thing. Uh, Python.com. So let me show you. So it will ask me now site.com. So I need to use only vulnerweb.com like this I need to use because of site.com. So you can see based on a previous research that not even given proper work. Okay, so you need to use same as it is. So it will give all the displays of information. Attacker can further use gathered information to perform various web application attacks such as a target website. So this concludes the demonstration of gathering a information about the target website using Zircon. So once this is run, we go for another work. So now we go for 18. Seaweed. So gather a word list from the target website using the CV. So what is the CV? So the words available on the target website may reveal a critical information that can assist with the performing further exploitation of CV is a Ruby app that is used to aspire a given target URL to a specified depth optionally function following external links and returns to the list of unique words for cracking the passwords. So CV is only used for cracking the passwords. So now we can see how this will be done. So it's almost all it's going to be done now. 
So you can come back here and just write clear. You can type CWF minus minus help. So now we have got it here. So we need to type here, just type clear CWL minus D2 minus M5 HTTPS www.airbnb.com. So I'm using airbnb.com. So just press enter. Now let's see. So here D represents the depth of the spider of the website is 2 minus M defines the represents the minimum word of the length is 5. So it will generate a unique uh, transaction things. Okay. In a short form. So it will take some time. So it's taking much more time. So I will use same as it is open new tab. CWL minus v2 minus m5 longweb.com. So here you can see because of uh, this uh, terminal, it's not going to be work. So I just close this. So you have seen every information is gathered and displayed here. So you want to make it this one as in a uh, word list, like in a txt form. Okay, you can type cwf minus w defines the word list. You can type word list dot txt minus d2 minus m5. M5 web.com So you can see it was done. So you can type cat one list dot PXT. You got the display everything here. So these word lists can be further to perform the brute force attacks against the previously obtained the email address of the target organization's employees. This can include the demonstration of gathering word list of the target website using the sweep. So, so just close. So now I come back. So now is another crucial work. So this is a more crucial task email tracker so how we can do this email tracker so now we can see this one so we need to log in to the email so we just uh, minimize this one now we just minimize we just come back here just go to google.com just click on this we just uh, log in. Once I was logging here, just come back here, then just open an email. So the email header is a crucial part of the email thing, okay? So now we can see the topest one, I have this one, email, okay? Gather information about a target by tracing the email using email tracker flow. So first of all, 
we have logged in here just come back here just open the folder we just come back here uh, downloads ch2 tools ch2 tools website is email tracking tools okay email tracking so you need to install this tool okay first of all yes then come back I agree next next install so jre version but i know have jre version here mm -hmm. okay so we try in this it's okay maybe it also takes some more time so we don't want uh I will tell you how to get, uh, get email tracker so I am not at install in the Java so we will see for the so once you have get it here is so you just click on the top three details so sp spot mail so this is the fake mail Just come back here so in the three dots you need to click on these three dots once you have installed click on show originals so you need to copy all this one copy to a clipboard once you have copied you need to install these tools because I have here tools but because of I was installed some other works yeah, but I cannot install over this tool so once you have installed this email tracker pro and you need to uh, log in first there and the interfaces will be appear here once the interfaces appear here you just need to click on my inbox and my trace report then you can click on my trace report then paste the code then click on track just whatever we have copied you just need to track so we will see online email tracker in here we will see uh, the more better online email tracker So this also email tracker of gmail.in. So this will shows only the mail tracker they read or not. So this we can put here headers, just paste it. So you can see here IP address is came from Maryland, Columbia, coordinates I ISP and DHCP to you. So this is the same thing that there also will be uh, get displayed. Okay, so that's it guys here. So this concludes the demonstration of gathering information through an analysis of email header using the email tracker pro. So for the email tracker pro, I can give more other informations, okay, like come back, you can use infoga, mail track that's it we go for next
2 is 20. So, who is lookup? So, perform who is lookup using a domain tool. So, here we will gather the target information, perform a who is lookup domain. So, for this, we need to go here. So, just come back here. Clear history. Clear recent history. Yes, clear now. So, yes, come back. So, you can type who is dot domain tools dot com. So, you can enter here any type of targeted website. I just enter one of web dot com, just search. So, I just require a confirmation. Just one, two, three, four. So click on go. So you can see the search results of the vulnerableweb.com will displace the domain profile, IP address, who is records, everything information will be displayed there. So this concludes the demonstration of gathering information about the target organization by performing a quiz lookup. So I can give more specified tools here. For this, this is like smart who is smart who is batch IP converter twenty one. You go for so gather DNS information using NS lookup. So we will study about NS lookup now. So NS lookup is a network administration command line utility generally used for querying the DNS obtained a domain name or public IP address, mapping for an any other specific DNS record. This utility is available for both command line utility and web applications. So now we can see uh, the NS lookup. So we just type command prompt and run an administrator so just yes so you can type ns lookup now it will get a small thing okay it's a default so now you can type set type equal to a uh, now you can type your website targeted website vulnerweb.com so it was display the information okay that IP address and displays the information so now you can type set type equal to cname now you can type only the vulnerweb.com. Now you can see it was displayed. The host master Euro DNS. So again, now you can type set type equal to a. Uh, primary as a name server, you need to take this DNS. Uh, Euro DNS you can see so the authorities of the name server stores the record associated with the domain so if the attacker can determine the authority of the name servers as a primary name server and obtain associated associated IP address he or she might be attempt to exploit the server to perform attacks such as DOS, DDoS, URL redirections you can also perform same operation using ns lookup tool with online also so that's online is not required this is only the best way to do the work okay so this concludes the demonstration of dns information gathering using the ns lookup command line utility so now we go for 22
DNS recon. So perform a reverse DNS lookup using the reverse IP domain check on DNS recon. Okay. So I just copy we just 44. Okay, we will see this one. We will use this IP address only for this. So we just open a terminal, we just type a list. So we will use here cd dns recon title list we type python3 dns recon the python minus r so what is the ip address uh, ip address is 44 44 Dot 248.0 248.249.0 244.229.255 So it will give the range of uh, invalid address or range 0 by 24. So now you can see uh, it's give compute Amazon AWS. They was hosted in the Amazon AWS. 255 records is found. So this concludes the how to do the reverse DNS. <laughs> DNS lookup using ping. So you get uh, signals of reverse IP domain check on the DNS tool. So you just cd, you just clear, come back here, you just come back. So now it's 23. So look at a network range, ARIM. So we use this website. So locate a network range. Network range is an information assisting in a certain a map of the target network using the network range. You can gather information about the how a network is structures and which machine is in the network are alive. Further, it also helps to identify a network topology and access the control of the device and operating systems. So for this, we just go to Open a new tab here. You can type ARIN. So, American Registry of Internal Numbers. So, you just target your website, anything else. You can type oneweb.com. You can see the full gathered of information here. No results. Okay, we type uh, airbnb.com. No. So, we go with IP address double four two two eight two four nine dot forty three. So you can see this is a vulnerable web IP address. You can see Amazon forty seven, which was registered on tenth May two thousand eleven. We got the certain all type of information from here. So this concludes the demonstration of locating the network range using the ARN9 quiz database search tool. So now task is 24. So perform a network trace route. Trace route Windows and Linux. So the route is the path of the network packet traverse between the source and destination. Network trace routing is the process of identifying the path and the host lying between the source and destination. A network trace routing provides the critical information such as IP address or the host of lying between the source, of source and destination which enables the end map of the network topology of the organization. Trace route can be used to extract the information about the network topology trusted routers 
firewall, locations and etc. So we will see this, how can be done. So we just minimize this. So just open type cmd, type run an administrator, yes, we can type reset reset vulnerable.com so this is the reset is vulnerableweb.com is giving you full information you can see So the some other tools I will provide you here for trace rate, trace root visual root trace root ng. These are the special tools you can use this also. So we go for purify task. So it's taking too much time. So now we will do it in the Linux. So for this trace root web.com So this concludes the demonstration of performing a network trace routing using the Windows and Linux machines. Okay. So in the Windows machines you can see it's same as it is, but the difference is trace rate and trace root. That's the difference. So now we go for task is. Recon NG. So, what is an Recon NG? Recon NG is a web reconnaissance framework with an independent modules and database interactions that provides an environment which open source web based reconnaissance can be conducted. Here, we will be use Recon NG to perform a network reconnaissance, gather personal information, gather target information from social network sites. So for this, we just come here. So you just close this. This is minimize. So we just type a clear. We can type recon minus ng. You find here recon ng. So here you need to type help. So once you have a type here help. So you need to type marketplace install all so it will be install all the marketplaces so just wait for it 
so if it error it's come you just avoid it so don't uh, mind about it so you can type workspaces so there is no workspaces so we need to create a workspaces so for workspaces for creating the workspaces so you need to type workspaces create pcpl pen tester club private limited so once we have created so if it come error you don't care about at all you type workspaces you can see workspaces is no have so you can type workspaces select pcpl so now we are in the pcpl now i can type work spaces list you can see we got a pcpl on default one okay so you can type db insert domain so domain is onelaweb.com onelaweb.com notes just leave it as it is now you can type show domains so we have loaded a domain domains now So now we can type modules load bullet. So we need to type like modules load record domain suffixes. Just copy, paste it. And I just also copy this one for next process copy and I just type a run you can see it's run the all hosts everything So only three totally fine so you just type back you can type modules load whatever you have copied previous you just paste it that one then type a run now you can see
so it will take a bit time more so let's see So it was displaying all the reasons of the their hosting you can see it's taken much time because of network interruption. So now it will displace vulnerable sites. Oh my god, heavy.
so it's taking a bit more time I, that I need to quit okay so yes so I just stop American MG because it's very lengthy process Then we go to workspaces. Okay. Type work spaces list. type workspaces select PCPF Back means it's enter back. Okay, click on MG. <laughs> it's taking too much time consumption in the Recon MG. It's very bad. What spaces select? Workspaces So you try it guys your own uh, I will drop the recon entry in the previous tutorial as an a command link description in the thing you can go there as an recon entry okay further so so you just export and you can see here that's it in the recon MG. So you can see next one is multigo. So how we can use multigo 26 because it's time consumes too much. Multigo. So what is a multigo? Footprinting using a multigo. Multigo is a footprinting tool used to gather maximum information about the purpose of ethical hacking or computer forensics and penetration testing. It provides a library of transform transforms to discover a data from the open source and visualize that the information in a graph format suitable for link analysis and data mining. Multigo provides you with a graphical interface that makes seeing these relationships in instance target and even making the possible of a C hidden connections. So now we can see how this will work. Just close this. Yes, just click on applications, penetration testing, information gathering, click on multigo.
So you can click on Multigo CA Community Edition for Community Transforms. Then click on Run in this one. So this will pop up something. So it will ask a license and agreement. You just click on I accept and click on next. If you no have account, you need to create account here in the Multigo. I already made Multigo also as any video tutorial. You can flow that one also. So this also is just wasting your time, I think so. Just click on accept. Options. Yes, Firefox, just click on apply, then click on OK, then I just put no box in, then come back. So uh, the server could not be connected, so you just leave it this one. So you just run multiple case file free. So this also is same thing. So but we we need to run C community community edition one. So that two links, Recon NG and Multigo, that I will give you separately as a thing. Okay, so I will show you that one. So Multigo and Recon NG, I can give you a separate video. So that is, uh, you can click on under that tab, like a YouTube page uh, description, you can find there the thing multigo as well as the recon ng so i was pinned over there okay so we just skipping these two steps so now we are using build cipher footprinting target using a build cipher so what is a build cipher build cipher is an information gathering tool for a website or an ip address Using these tools, you can gather information such as DNS lookup, quiz lookup, GIP lookup, uh, many other things. So we can see that a lot. So you can type CD, you can type list, build cipher, type a list, Python 3, build cipher dot Python, you can see, build cipher, so I need to make it this one big to get you understand. So website, so I want to type for website, oneweb.com, so sorry, I need to type a website first, and you need to tar target a website, oneweb.com. So you need to type DNS lookup, hit scale. So you need to do accordingly to this wish, like a DNS lookup, quiz lookup, GIP lookup, subnet lookup, port scanner, Page links, zone transfers, and etc. Internet was offline.
no? So, GUI to the top. So, website. We'll see. GUI to the top. Your internet was offline. I don't know this network. So you can try it your own guys with the website and vulnerable web. Like your target IP address from here. So I just close in here. So now come back here. So that's the last task is I will provide all these things about build cipher and many other things. And is voice RF. So the last thing is, sorry, OCNet framework. So what is the OCNet framework? So you can type OCNet framework. So you see. OCNA framework is an open source intelligence gathering framework that helps and security professional for performing the automated truth thinking and recognizes OCNA researchers. An intelligence gathering, it is founded on gathering information from free tools or resources. This framework includes a simple web interfaces that list various OCNA tools arranged by category and it's shown in the OCNA structures. So, TDRM. So, what is it defines as a TDRM? T defines indicates the link of the tool that must and should be installed and run locally. B defines a Google Doc. And R requires a registration. M indicates a URL that contains a such term and URL itself must be edited manually. So we can see, we can type U. We can find the usernames. So you can type usernames, username search engines. So you can click on name check, you will directly get, you can search across 90 social medias as a name check. So you want to find IP address, you can see geolocation, poster IP, IPv4, yes lookout. Now that come. So IPv4 CDIR report dot org. So you can type IPv4. You got many things here. Wireless network information. So this is my address, you can see where I have all Wi-Fi using. It's like very bulk, no? And you can use IP loggers, Gravify IP logger. So we can use IP logger. Notifications, so it's ask for subscription. So you can get all visitors and etc. etc. things. 
So same as it is, you can find many of, of these image videos, social networks, instant messaging, people's uh, dating, telephone, public records, business records. So the business records, what we can found in the business records, you can see. like annual annual reports annual reports dot com so you can enter the company name with the ticketer symbols you can type Tesla and then search Tesla and say auto manufacturing major consumer goods you need to take a premium subscription to get the annual reports general info and news soc government uk companies you got all the information here okay so this is how guys you can do it a quick thinking and references sorry for the inconvenience about the reconnaissance and as well as the multi because the in Whatever we have installed, the uh, hacking lab setup that does not suitable, it's taken too much time. So I already made a video for that one. I will send it to you. I will add in the descriptions. You can click and watch. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.